Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, in my last video I told you that I'd been contacted by this amazing company, <coughs> excuse me, and how proud I was that little old me had been asked to do an unboxing of one of their diamond paintings. Now I've had products from Diamond Art Club before and I've had products from um, cheaper places before or other alternative places before but what I love about Diamond Art Club is that all their art is licensed so meaning any picture you buy from them the artist is being paid they have permission to use that picture whereas other places don't do that so you need to be really careful because we as colorists know how important it is to support our artists and quite often you know there's certain websites that we all use all the time to buy our colouring books and quite often um, we're outraged when we see um, stolen artwork. This is a guarantee from Diamond Art Club that will not happen. They were they're always licensed. So they reached out to me and said would I be interested in um, unboxing um, this A Diamond painting on the channel and I was like would I? <laughs> yes please with excitement. I was so excited. And then they gave me a link to choose a um, diamond painting. So, knowing Lucy, what do you reckon the picture is? Have you any idea? Can you think? Well, I'll show you. If I can fit it. It's such a big kit. Oh, oh, oh here she is. That's a... Let me do it this way. You'll have to have like a side image. It's Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Look at that. I will get the image out. We'll be able to see it closer in a second. So the artist is um, Constantine, excuse my pronunciation, it's a Russian artist, um, Kalinin, Constantine Kalinin. <coughs> and there were lots of Alice pictures on there that really struck home with me. Just going to get the plastic off. But this is such a beautiful image. And... If I'm going to do one and put it up on my wall, which I will put it on my wall, um, it had to be right. So let's take the plastic off. It comes in an outer box. So this is, I've taken that off, it will come in a delivery box and it's in absolutely pristine condition. So they come from Philadelphia in America. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Look at those those iridescent snowflakes on there. Isn't that cool? They actually look like they're moving. Anyway, okay. So for those of you that don't know what diamond art is, um, inside the box are a number of little um, resin diamonds and um, you put them together a little bit like paint by numbers following the codes that are given and I'll show you the um, I'll show you all that when I take everything out of the packaging. There are instructions on the back of how to do it. So let's get into it. I'm so excited. I am so excited by this. So, got a little kit. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to film this. It's so big. Okay. This is the picture. We'll get another picture of that. So you get a sticker. Excuse me. If you get, So you'll get a sticker. So if you want to kit up your diamonds and put them in little boxes, um, you can do that and put that on the top. Everything you need is in this kit. So they send you this little DIY pouch and in here, if I can get my hands to work, is a diamond painting pen. So you'll put your wax in the top of that, which I'll show you in a second. That helps you to pick the diamonds up. A pair of very sharp tweezers and some spare baggies for you to put any open diamonds in or loose diamonds or extra diamonds in. There's quite a few there. A squishy which you're gonna, I definitely will use that, put it on my pen and it just saves your hand especially like you know how my hands are that really helps. So, then you get two little heart-shaped waxes. Look at that, aren't they adorable? 
so you just take your pen and push it into the wax and that's what helps you pick the diamonds up to put it on the canvas so we'll talk about the canvas in a second and then this little tray is what you put your diamonds in give it a shake and they'll turn up the right way for you to um, pick them up put them on the canvas I'm sorry for those of you that no diamond art but there'll be people out there that don't and I want to do it properly so this is a multi-placer tool and it looks like it'd be about three I should think and you pop that in the end of there and this you can then do your wax again and pick up multiple diamonds so that's what you get in your little kit that's everything you need <clears throat> let me put that back in so I don't lose anything I'll pop those back in my little kit, keep them safe. Let's try and have a look at this, uh, the diamonds themselves, if you haven't ever seen them. So this is the canvas, it's huge, so I'm going to have to readjust the camera before we can have a look at the canvas. Okay, here are your, look how beautifully they're packaged. The quality of Diamond Art Club is just incredible. Okay, so we'll talk about all those in a second. This is another sticker. Now, for those of you that like to or would like to organise little boxes, let me show you. Um, so you can get these in little cases. I use them, I'm currently using mine at the moment for, you can get all sorts of ones, much better than this. And I've got one which I'll show you um, at another stage. Um, for all of you that like to store your diamonds in little pots to be organised so they're easy to reach for, Diamond Art Club have turned these into, if I hold it up, I hope you can pick up on that. They are, look, here, so I don't have to waste one. They are individual stickers that you can put on your things without having to cut them. And when I was last doing it, that wasn't an option. So how cool is that? And there, let me move the light out of the way, is the gorgeous picture of Alice in Wonderland. Isn't it beautiful? So you can put, there's the artist, if I've pronounced her name wrong it's there. And you can put the start date and the end date on it. And these are the symbols. Um, so they're the symbols you'll follow. The code down the side are DMC codes. So if you do cross stitch or have ever done cross stitch, the DMC threads that you use are the same numbers. Um, and they correspond with that. So if you're a stitcher and you know the numbers, you'll be familiar with all of those. But aren't those codes nice and clear? So in this pack, <coughs> there are, I do believe, two special diamonds. These are square diamonds. There are two special diamonds in here called, they call them ABs, but they are, which stands for Aurora Borealis use the, the crinkle um, and they've got a special coating on them I can see one already they've got a special coating on them that makes them even more shiny if you um, can believe that there's one there which is a white one so this is what they look like this is how tiny each individual one is which is why you need that wax pen to help you pick them up um, and these are the colours that are in the kit. Look how shiny they are. I know they're in the packaging. But there are, let me get this right, 54 colours plus two Aborealis ones. Aurora Borealis ones. So let me let's take this strip out. So this is what they look like. 54 colours, people. I don't see any black, which is a good thing. But let's have a look at the quality of the diamonds now some cheaper kits on the bottom you'll get diamonds that are have got little holes or they're not even and that makes it very difficult to put down on your canvas if you look at those they are perfect not a blemish and the bottoms are beautifully flat so here are all the colours we'll, I'll just run through them quickly I'm never going to be able to pack this back up as neatly as they have it's a beautiful colour, isn't it? 
there's um, an Aurora Borealis one. So can you see the extra glisten on there? Isn't that cool? We'll try and find the other one. <clears throat> I'm just running through really quickly with these, just so you can see the colours. That is black. I remember that from my diamond painting days. 310. And that's what gave everybody so much problems back then. But these look perfect. Okay, so we'll move those to one side. Then we've got this huge strip here. So just a few of those ones. Aren't they beautiful colours? So I'm going through and I'm looking for my extra ABs. There it is. Look at that. Can you, oh, you can really pick that up on the blue. Look at that, that coating. So that they've got a coating on it's uber shiny and gorgeous. It really stands out in your picture. I mean, these, look at that sparkle. Can you pick up on all that? Those have got that extra glisten to them. And we've got some little travellers in there, look. <laughs> okay, that strip. Oh, I was doing so well, they're not so neat now. <laughs> and then the last strip here. So 54 colours plus the two additional ones. I'm loving the look of these diamonds. But the last time I had a, a diamond um, painting kit would have been about three years ago when I started to colour. And so I haven't had one for a long time. So these are just pristine, they're beautiful. Yeah, so the last kits I had were the Mandy Manzano ones, and I love her artwork. In fact, I've got two of her colouring books, PDF ones, but nevertheless. Yeah, that's pretty, look at that deep blue. So, okay, diamond viewing over. I'm going to have to put those there for a minute look look how neat that first one came out and then it's carnage as you go down the bottom <laughs> so what I'm gonna have to do is cut the video here then I'm gonna come back with the canvas and we'll unroll it together and we'll have a look at that and I can I can show you in more detail what I mean give me one second folks okay so I've had to lift the camera right up as far as I can this is the canvas. It is 20 by 28 or 56 centimetres by 71 centimetres. And you get the gorgeous logo. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. So let's have a look. Now, Diamond Art Club have this velvety feeling fabric. It's not like the cheaper ones you buy that um, are just like a plastic. This is velvet tarpaulin and it self flattens so are you ready for this i'm so excited folks i still don't know if i'm going to be able to get it all on on camera look at that. look 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 oh my gosh so there's your step by step instructions that you get inside if you're new and if you are new diamond heart art club have given me a 20 percent voucher if you're new to them um, that you can use on their website now, you can roll this backwards and it will lay flat, but they do self flatten if you just leave them out. Isn't she beautiful? So now you've seen it in its entirety, let me turn her round so you can see properly. So move the lamp again. So we've got Cheshire Cat at the top here. And then she is, there she is, leaning over the mushroom isn't she beautiful and look at the um, because some images <clears throat> can come out very pixelated if you don't do the right size but Diamond Art Club if they still do this I remember them saying that they hand chart their images so they transfer that image onto the canvas by hand so that you get a finer detail even down to the clovers look at the bottom and I don't know if you're picking up on that, but the canvas has got like a sparkle to it. So we've got 
all the details down the bottom here so that's the size and the artist and that it's by Diamond Art Club and then on the left hand side at the top you've got the key that you need to use when you're diamond painting so it's right there with you and then if we turn the image round it's on the right hand side at the bottom which you couldn't see there so I'll come back out again just for a minute so it's already beginning to flatten but a lot of people will have to like me my desk is not big enough to take this image in one go so I would have to roll it and don't be afraid to do that because the um, glue that Diamond Art Club use is a poured glue whereas some of the cheaper brands that you might find are double-sided tape which can be a problem because this crease here that you see is just the plastic film once we peel that off the poured glue is completely flat and I will show you scary but I'll show you see not a wrinkle in sight look at that so any wrinkles now you can see or any folds or shadow that you can see is just where it's not completely flat yet isn't she beautiful I'm so excited I can't wait to have this on my wall so I'm just going to cover her back up and we'll lift her up so this is what I was telling you about so here are the symbols so what you'll do is go to your code here and see this black dot which is 05 and it's um, it is black 310 so everywhere that that white dot sorry with the black background is you'll put a black diamond on that makes sense isn't that cool I'm so so excited people gosh she's beautiful thank you so much diamond art club so yeah so if you're new to diamond art they've got beginner canvases right up to really advanced ones they did have some Josephine wall ones and I was so tempted until I saw this lovely lady and I thought oh, it's got to be Alice for the channel everybody knows how much I love Alice so yeah so what else do I need to tell you I don't think let me just grab some diamonds so on here on your little diamond pack this one is 3854 so if we have a look on the side on our key and of course you've got your sticker here which will probably be easier and you look down here you'll have to look for 3854 which I probably won't be able to find because I'm blind like that and my brain's not working I can't see it you're probably screaming at me that uh, right at the bottom of course 3854 and the symbol would be F for that so that's how you'd know and then you've got the number there so um, let's have a look can we find that one actually let's have a look for where the shiny bits go number one symbol number one um, it's got to be on the caterpillar cause, or on her dress maybe I don't know it's on the caterpillar look so there so that's one of the um, special Aurora Borealis ones or AB diamonds as they're known and then we had a white one which is 141 um, and the code symbol is 2 oh it's in her eyes look can you see oh, she's going to have some in her eyes Ooh, and a little bit on her face oh she's going to be so beautiful so I have diamonds in hand I have my stickers and I've got my toolkit ready what I will do is link Instagram and their website down below and I will put the 20% discount off it is for new members so if you don't already, already have an account or haven't ordered from Diamond Art Club it is an American company but I can't fault them I really can't if you want diamond painting this is the way to go and I can tell you 
from experience that once you've had a Diamond Art Club one, there is no point anymore in doing any others that I know anyway. Um, it's a long time ago since I've diamond I've diamond painted, but like I said, you know the quality. They you know they really go out of the way to make it a really lovely experience for you. So like I say, I will link everything you need down below, including that twenty percent off discount code and enjoy. So I will come back at some point with an update of how Alice is going. I'm going to keep this downstairs so that when I'm sitting downstairs with my husband um, I can do diamond painting while he's watching his television programme and I'm just so excited to do it. So like I say thank you so much Diamond Art Club. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right my lovely friends so I will be back really shortly um, with some other colouring related um, activities <laughs> and um, I will see you all soon so until then my lovely friends take really good care of yourselves night night